ciao ragazzi and another video with them is on And then I would just send some stuff or organize a friend of mine to buy some stuff in Windhoek and send them. But uh, yeah, this year was a little bit different. I mean, we all know I couldn't make it home due to COVID. And I just thought, you know, it would be nice to send a couple of stuff. So these are all for my mom and then the kids. I want to make sure that these are sent out by tomorrow. And then next week, we're probably going to do the Italian because we also are not sure up to now whether the infection rates are in Italy as well as in Germany. I don't think we'll be able to travel there this year, considering that I'm also pregnant. For the kids, this time I have also something really, really special. Bring my hands around. Yeah, you can see it better like that. It's written Lampis in like some sort of yellow gold, I would say. From Silviax, this is the name. This is the name of the company where I got it from, and I also leave that in the description below. So this is for my namesake, the youngest girl in the house at the moment. But I'm a little bit hesitant because I don't know if the mother is going to allow her to use it because I think the other girls are going to fight for it and they're going to feel like, oh, why we didn't get anything. And, and then I have another one that I bought for my youngest sister. I'm also not sure if I'm going to to send that one as a Christmas present, but I'll I'll send it home with the rest of the stuff, and hopefully I'll tell my my parents to give it to her after she get her results. Oh, this is so cute. This is like in a form of a, of a, of a, of a heart. And it's written my sister's name, which is like Nangombe in the middle. So super, super cute. I love this. And, you know, uh, when I was doing this, I thought, you know, let me call the people at home, family members, and ask what they would need. Or what they want for Christmas. And I thought, uh, when I think of Christmas presents, I always think of, like, First of all, my children, my children, the kids have to get their present. That is very important. And after that, my grandparents. Those are also very important. Then I have, if I have a little extra, my parent. Like, and maybe my sister, the elder one, and the youngest, and then my brother. But usually the kids and the grandparents are my priority number one. And also under the impression that the kids don't ask so much and also the grandparents don't ask so much. I was under this impression until when I called home yesterday. So first I spoke to I spoke to my niece. You know mini me from if you have watched the videos from the village, they are okay, there were so many kids. You wouldn't know it, but yeah. My nieces, I called them yesterday and I asked them to send me a list of everything they want. So I got unexpected stuff. Like I actually, I thought I would get more like, send me, I'm thinking of myself, <laughs> when I was a child and things I was asking my parents, I was more like a new dress to go to church, um, a new backpack to go to school next year when, January, when you know, and maybe a pencil case or this is what I was thinking or maybe new shoes this is not what I got I got a list with I want a jacuzzi so I was I was surprised so I got a jacuzzi I got a laptop I got a box of ice cream so this was a little bit <laughs> normal okay a box of ice cream I can understand but a jacuzzi a laptop I don't know where that came from then a box of ice cream and uh, like some painting books, toys and story books. Amazing. So I'm thinking, oh, hell, why? 
and where do kids learn that? I don't even I don't even understand where they got this idea. Was it from TV? Was it from school? Maybe their friends have you know have yakuza in their house and they're like, yeah, it's not. I, I don't know. But a uh, child of she's going to go in grade three next year to ask me yakuza. Was like a lot of a surprise. A laptop, I think, just things are changing. I would. I didn't have a computer until pretty much third year of uh, university. So and then I things are changing. So I think now most kids also, if you don't really have a real like tablet or you don't have a real laptop, and maybe you have a very nice smartphone or maybe or uh, even the, the the fake, you know, the mini tablet or laptops that are made for kids. So I was talking about this. But you know, I send I, I can't I can't send everything that you requested, but I did send some stuff. Like it's it's a fun game that I like to play with the kids and I send them some things that I think they'll be I usually send school related stuff, then of course some sweets and and some toys. I also love storybooks, but this time I didn't send any because it was a short notice, I didn't get any really nice story like i love storybooks for kids but i would prefer that they read something that they can relate to other than me just picking up a book from here that doesn't have much to do with the life in namibia or a child living in namibia i will leave that video up here like the video from the village where i spent some time with my grandmothers how many were in there in the video too but i have actually oh I would say I have four, no, I have five grandmothers that are very, very close to me. One from the um, the father side, like uh, my father's mother, very close to me. I also used to send her presents until last year. Also, did I sent her something? But now she's just way, way too old to even have a conversation. So. Even last year when I sent her something, I didn't ask her, but now she's, uh, when I talk to my niece, I'm like, no, Granny doesn't remember anybody. You go in there, you sit and ask. She would ask you who you are, like, what is your name? Then you say, my name is who, who. She doesn't remember who you are. And she ask you five minutes. Like, I mean, she is like, I think, 103, just way old. So for her, I don't have a possibility to call her anymore. I would just usually send something through my parents and I said this is for grain. The other one, four grain is from the mother's side. Three are living in the same house. It's like uh, my grandmother, like my mother's mother lived with two of her sisters and then uh, another sister was also living nearby. Um, I called them today and I was like, yeah, you know, it's Christmas. What did you like to get? And my my grand, the older one was the one on the phone was like, oh, it's I thank you for first say thank you for asking because I have a lot of things that I want and I will tell you everything. So, but for grand is usually super simple. It's also things that I kind of already know because every year is the same thing pretty much. Important always number one on this list is like the breakfast arts, like that she can easily make breakfast by herself. All the time, super easy. Oats, you can buy a lot of packets. Oats for breakfast is always there. And then this, if you are from the village, you know, almost every old person just, I don't know how, maybe from their generation before they would ask you sugar. Now it's not like they can't afford sugar, but it, it's just one of those things they appreciate when you pass by and you drop off a package of sugar. Because it's the thing that they spend money on most of the time. So sugar and cooking oil so for granny that is it that's done and he said oh if you have what was it no way to say it. sugar cooking oil breakfast oats yes and then say some money because it's december of course you're expecting already january and you have to start cultivating in case it starts raining he's ready to <laughs> to ask the guy with the traitor to come over and start preparing the field and then after that, I called my parents. I was like, "Okay, uh, do you, I don't think you know for my parents. Uh, I love them, but they are, you know, they are quite young still. I, I'm always under the impression I don't think I can find them anything really that can uh, 
they're super excited about it. They are very happy as long as I send presents to my to my grandparents and also to the kids. And they usually never ask me anything apart from send us whatever you want. So be maybe a card or I would send um, some money to my little sister and say, you know, make sure you make uh, you get some groceries and make them their favorite Christmas recipe stuff. Something like that. So I called my mother and was like, oh, unfortunately uh, for you guys, I wouldn't ask you this because I think I have enough already on the video. For everybody who is waiting for the giveaway, I have not forgotten. I want to apologize for that because I think in the past few weeks or months since we moved to the new place, it has been very difficult for us to focus on YouTube because we really didn't have internet in the new place so it started working this week monday but we still have like a little bit of some time just it just get disconnected and we don't understand why we're still waiting for a technical assistance sometime like last week i think last week friday i wanted to release a video and i was really frustrated i have a video ready i'm ready to to upload it and nothing was happening so i will do the giveaway on this coming Sunday. Just, I have not forgotten, I'll just do it this coming Sunday. See you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ciao, ciao, ciao.